didn't run very far. You just went to help. Right? That's, that's not exactly a getaway. All right, buddy. Was alcohol a factor? Just out of curiosity. Sir, I'm sorry. Was alcohol, was, was alcohol a factor? There was some, but not much, no, sir. So you're an asshole? You weren't drunk, asshole? Sir. Nothing. All right, who are the parties on Angel Montoya? Court is calling 2022 CR 0054, State of Texas versus Angel Montoya. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? It's not done for the state. Defense? Ed Piper from Mrs. Montoya. Are you Angel Montoya? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have you received all the discovery? Did you review that with your client? I did, yes. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Ms. Montoya, did you sign and review the document entitled Application for Deferred Adjudication or Community Supervision with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Showing you a true bill of indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? I do. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Montoya, I'm showing you what's entitled court admonishments and defendants waivers and affidavit of admonitions. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with injury uh, to a child, bodily injury intentionally or knowingly? That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you have a plea with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you ended a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state will call in the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by entering this plea you were giving up those rights? Yes, ma'am. Did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Did you understand that the court were to grant your application for deferred adjudication? If for any reason your deferred adjudication were revoked, the court could find you guilty and sentence you up to 10 years in prison. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? She has. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes. Ms. Montoya, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter the plea? Has anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, ma'am. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, ma'am. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page, did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. According to the plea, state is recommending deferred adjudication. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. No contact with Ariana Garza. Did you understand with the affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated a pri as the primary custodial parent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense, is that the plea? Yes. State, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes. Counsel, have there been any such motions? No. Next, I'm showing you outside the agreement. The state is recommending that your community supervision be for a term of four years. Did you understand that's a recommendation from the state and the court does not have to follow that recommendation? Yes. Then to the offenses charge, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Yes. State any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State offer states one of the attachments. We, we did review them, no, Judge. Showing you what's entitled Wavering Consent to Stipulation of Testimony and Stipulations. Did you review that document with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports 
But most importantly, there'll be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, so why are you beating up on a 14 or 15 year old? Um, I, not totally did it. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I didn't, I've never seen this, like I've seen the girl in person, but I've never. Now, according to the police report, what you just pled to, she was walking with your son in a park and you came up behind her, pulled her by her hair, dragged her by the hair and punched her. So I'm trying to figure out why are you hitting on a 14 year old? I'm sorry, what? I mean, I. There's a video according to the police report. It's. I. Hmm. I know there's a video. I know it's a blurry video. I know it looks like me. <clears throat> So are you saying that this is just all made up? Uh, I hope oh gosh. No, if you want a jury trial, we will give you a jury trial. I mean, I I don't want it to go bad and, and make it, and I go to prison for something I didn't do. Well, here's the thing. If you're saying you didn't do this and you want a jury trial, then guess what? In the 187th, I will put cases to trial and we will give you your jury trial. But what I'm reading in the police report, there is a video. And yeah, it's saying that you pulled her hair, you beat her up. No, I'm, I'm aware of what she said I did. So your only question is, do you want a jury trial or not? I don't want a jury trial. All right. So then we're back to the point. Why are you pulling on a child's hair? So... No, no, I was, um, I was, I was, I, was, I, I, I was angry. I was really, really upset. I was, my son wasn't going down any wrong path until he met this girl. They were doing drugs. They were, he was running away. He was getting cars. I was just trying to be a good parent. Well, I mean, how is it a good parent to beat up somebody who's dating your son? Why do you think that she's in charge of your son's actions? Did she put a gun to his head and say, "Do these drugs with oh, me"? She told my son she was pregnant. All right then people need to start supervising their children better. That's true. I'm going to sentence you to six years deferred adjudication. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. No contact with Ariana. That's A-R-I-A-N-A -A -A Garza. Proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular UAs. No unsupervised contact with minors. 200 hours of community service restitution. I'm going to order parenting classes. Once she's completed parenting classes, that will be deemed satisfied. There's to be... Field visits, one time per month for three months. And there's to be 30 days in the Bear County Jail as a condition of probation. Pro is there anything else she needs? Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants' rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. 
because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to your attorney. Good luck. Judge, as far as the 30 days, since that was not part of what we had anticipated, can she either have time to turn herself in Friday or do weekends? No, they don't do weekends anymore at the jail. So I got to go to jail for 30 days? Yes. All right, everyone.